We are here at Jaltech today to oversee the start of the production run of the MicroPython boards. We will be watching the process from the very beginning through to the very end, from uh, placing components through the oven to solder them, then the optical testing and the visual inspection, um, breaking out the boards and then testing the boards and programming them. We were interested to follow the production process and see exactly how things work and we hope you are interested as well to see what goes on inside the factory. Jumptech Systems are delighted to be working with George Robotics on their MicroPython project. Uh, we have lots of experience of working with startups. Uh, many have been with us for the last 15 years, so we've seen them move into a yeah, market leader position. And we really hope that happens with the MicroPython project as well. We believe we have the experience and the knowledge and the understanding that startups require, um, yeah, the flexibility and the agility, uh, and also our complete open book and transparent cost uh, gives startups a real clear indication of where they are and what they need to do in order to meet market pricing. So the My Data Machine allows uh, great flexibility for our customers. So even if they're running their product through as we did today, if there's some engineering changes that are required, they find out halfway through, we're able to stop that product, carry on with other customers, and then revert back to that. So it's a great facility. Uh, it's a true NPI line uh, for, for that. This is the stencil which is used to apply the solder to the PCB surface. The boards are assembled in a panel of 24 at a time. Here, the boards have had the solder paste on top and they're waiting to go into the pick and place machine in order to put all of the components on. Here are the microcontrollers ready to be placed on the board by the pick and place machine. The machine picks up components from the reels on the left and places them on the boards. These reels contain the passive components, resistors and capacitors. The red flash is so a camera can take an image of the components before they are placed on the board to check they are the correct part with correct orientation. Calibration is done to ensure parts are placed at the correct location. It's now placing the switches. So the switches are here coming off the reel. Now it's doing the accelerometer. It's putting the SD card slot on now. Now the crystal. So here we have 24 boards that have had the components placed on, uh, on top of the solder. So the solder is sticking the components there so they don't come off. And now they'll need to go through the oven to bake the solder uh, and stick the components down. The boards are here going into the oven. So coming out of the oven, uh, freshly baked python boards.
This is the automated optical inspection machine, which compares images of each board with a known good image. Anything out of the ordinary is checked by an operator. This is the visual inspection area where the boards are checked by eye to make sure they meet the IPC class 2 standard for a solar. Here they break out the boards from the panel. So they use this tool to cut the little bits around the boards to hold them in to take them out individually. Now that the boards are finished, they need to be programmed and tested. So we can do that by plugging it into the USB port. So plugging it in, the computer detects that it's plugged in and it will start to program them. We the functionality, the button, the thermometer, the LEDs, the clock. SD card and then all of the pins. From today, we've been able to demonstrate our flexibility uh, in building the product um, from bare board through to finished product. Although that's quite quite cavalier in our approach, but we're still very detailed in our traceability and our processes. Um, so we've used our Aegis facility today. Um, so at every stage, the, the product's been scanned, documented, checked, uh, which will give you, the customer, full traceability of your product, right down to a component level. A lot of success comes from Geltech because of its people that work here and it's very easy to say that but hopefully today we've been able to demonstrate people have a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge and more importantly uh, a lot of passion to you know, make your product successful. At every point people showed interest, uh, they wanted to know about you as a company, they wanted to know what was happening with the product uh, and to me that's very important because that, that really drives us forward uh, and it makes us different from our competition as well.